Well, we had one friend of ours who's a, a personal friend who's been sick for uh, three years and he was on his final stages of survival. We had to ask the team to to come and administer the uh, medication uh, on a Sunday, just a, a couple of hours after they landed, so that uh, we would try and save our friend. And uh, we were quite worried that our friend would not make it for the doctors to to administer the, the drug. But fortunately enough, uh, they managed to do that, and uh, to our surprise, uh, the patient recovered within a very, very short space of time, to a degree that uh, tears came out of our eyes uh, to see a guy walk within almost 32 hours of treatment, where he could never do that for, for months, and he's now in a, in, a, in a great shape after three weeks of treatment. Uh, we hope by this week he will be out of the hospital and just attend the clinics for regular weekly uh, treatments. This was two weeks ago? This was two weeks ago. Uh, as of this date, today is the third week, exact third week. Um, and I think yesterday they had uh, their last, uh, their, their third uh, administration of the drug, of the uh, serum. And uh, they're doing very so well. So what I can really say is, the stuff works to our surprise, uh, basing on the fact that for so many years uh, there has never been a hope for, for treatment. And uh, because there has never been a hope, uh, especially in my country, nobody really bothered to check whether they are positive or not. Because what happens if you are positive? You're just building up a, a a worry of, of the, the next three four years you know so you live by it and 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 by this way we have more infections uh, spread out because people do not know they are sick until they are bedridden and um, we do see hope because we we have seen from the worst cases stand up and be able to to rejuvenate themselves uh, we see much hope in, in cases whereby people are still strong and uh, they, they can eat and, and rebuild their, their health. Uh, in one of the discussions we had with the doctors, it says that we can now live normally again, you know, uh, because we were living in fear and uh, it is our hope that we get this uh, treatment administered to everybody in Africa. Uh, it might look impossible at the moment, based on the number of patients that are available and the, the, um, the, the spread, the, the, uh, the infrastructure available, even if this medicine was made available tomorrow, we still have a lot of um, work to do in order to, to have it administered properly, uh, distributed and treated. And um, in some cases, some countries in Africa whereby we have populations which we estimate in the next 15 years, we might lose 40% of the population. And uh, really, I, I have nothing to compare in this way. I had the privilege and honor to travel from the United States of America to Tanzania. Tanzania. The purpose of our trip was to take a small amount of polyclonal antibody goat serum uh, to Tanzania to demonstrate to the African people, Mr. Meese and his associates, the effects that this medication has on people with HIV and AIDS. We had seen this happen in Mexico in trials there. On arrival to Tanzania after an approximate 22 hour plane ride, uh, we were told uh, that we would have a day of rest and be able to uh, start seeing patients uh, the subsequent day and when we arrived uh, uh, David Meese came to us and said that the gentleman that was to be treated first uh, was extremely ill may not survive very much longer uh, this uh, shortened our day of rest and we went to the clinic that he was uh, being treated at uh, and found a man uh, that was very malnourished suffering from severe ulcer disease having several of the maladies that are associated with uh, 
sequelae in the AIDS virus who moaned about every three to five minutes while we were there. Um, my initial impression of this man was he was critically ill and it was a question in my mind as to whether or not we should even administer the serum to him predicated on his clinical condition in the environment that we were in and the likelihood that if the uh, serum had any adverse effects he might die. We've not seen any adverse effects from the serum to date. However, when people get critically ill, it doesn't take very much at all to challenge their system and push them over the brink of uh, survival. To our surprise, uh, after an initial bolus of the medication, um, he appeared better 24 hours later. He still was not eating. He was still in bed. His color was somewhat better, and it was a decision of uh, the physicians that we transfer this individual to a clinic where we could begin IV medications, treat his ulcer disease and his other maladies in hopes that uh, if we could get those to turn around, we could get him to eat, that uh, he would begin to have some nutrition to be able to fight uh, the virus and benefit from the uh, polyclonal antibody. 24 hours later, <clears throat> we were at the clinic with Dr. Matoya, and my concern was that this patient be administered medications as soon as he was able to make the trip. Uh, in talking with uh, David Meese, he said he was on his way over there, and about five minutes later, a gentleman came in through the front door of the foyer uh, that was approximately 6'4", six, 6'5", six, black man in a white robe with a cane, and I was looking around to see where our patient was and where the stretcher was to be carrying him into the clinic. And I asked David, where is our patient? And David said, this is our patient. And a man who'd been bedridden for several weeks, malnourished, not eating, suffering from ulcer disease, was now walking. It was a rather surprised to me. We were able to get him on IV medications, help him with his ulcer disease. He's now eating, and after a blood transfusion, I was told by Dr. Matoya, he will be leaving the hospital within about 24 to 48 hours. Another gentleman that we met at the clinic the first day we treated had end-stage AIDS. He had neurological sequelae. I did not realize the spatial relationship between his extremities and the rest of his body, nor did he think he had extremities, nor did he know how he got to the clinic. About five hours after the administration of the serum, he knew where he was, and he knew he did have arms and legs and where they were positioned. He was still very weak, but he still understood and could comprehend and identify his brother, the obstetrician who brought him there in a wheelchair. There was another story of a man in another clinic who had ulcers and abscesses from Kaposi sarcoma. He was in stage age, in bed. 24 hours after administration of serum, he was up and able to go to the bathroom. These were rather drastic and remarkable results. We felt that this was far above what we expected to see as far as the degree of illness that we were presented with. All these people are doing well to date. None of them have suffered any sequelae that have been identified either by Dr. Matoya's team or uh, our physicians. Um, currently, there are approximately 31 patients that have been treated all her doing well. All in all, this trip was a tremendous success from my perspective as a physician. I think that we are taught to do no harm. If anything, we've given people who are near death an opportunity uh, a bit of a new lease on life. Um, it was a tremendous trip from my perspective. I'm looking forward to going back to Tanzania.